such a pleasure to be talking with Marty Gershom, and I want to let you know that. So he has loudmouth prayer, uh -huh. and we and he's going to explain what loudmouth prayer is. But I want you also to know that their website. Um, he'll mention it again after, but it's loudmouthprayer.org, and so. His wife, Jenny, is part of that, too, and we really wanted her here, but they have been out there praying in the hot sun over over 200 people, so, like, we're going to forgive her, but they're both beautiful people. We can't wait to you uh, take it away. <laughs> Very beautiful. Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. Your turn. Yes. Uh, hi, guys. Thank hi. you for having me. Um, yeah, so loud mouth prayer. Um, so I guess we've been in ministry for about 20 years. And we did ministry. We did traveling ministry mm -hmm. for a little while. And after a little bit of starving in traveling ministry, we prayed enough to hear God say, the timing's not right. So he said, I want you in business. So we ran 18 years ago and got in business, real estate, and a lot of different things. And I owned a construction company. And then about, you know, we, so we've been with Clay Clark for five years. He's my business coach, and he's been a friend for five years, which this movement's been going on for a year and a half, two years. Mm -hmm. So I've been with Clay for about five years, and so we were prophetically able to help him steer and say some things to him along the way. But then about a year and a half, two years ago, the Lord basically showed up. I went to a, Sunday, a Saturday morning prayer with a friend, just he and I at 6 o'clock in his living room, and I went to the car to drive home, and when I got in the truck, the Holy Ghost filled the truck up, and he said, I'm releasing you from the things you've been doing. I'm releasing you to do ministry. And he began to talk to us about praying because, you know, we, we trained up under mentors who were prophets. And you always find the prophets ministry many times teaches the things of the spirit. Mm -hmm. And they also teach prayer. Tons of prayer being taught by one of our mentors, Kenneth E. Hagan. And so I got the, tr the honor of traveling with Brother Hagan. That's Dad Hagan. You know, they call him the father of the faith movement. And so about a year and a half ago, we were released to be able to do ministry and basically begin to teach prayer. So we started Loud Mouth Prayer. It's my new shirt. You like it? Thank you. So <laughs> my new shirt and Loud Mouth Prayer. I'm just excited about my new shirt. That's all. It's a very nice shirt. Uh, thank you. It's a great okay. color. It's not really white. It's a light gray, which actually very soon you can probably order this on our website. So, but yeah, so basically loudmouthprayer.org. So. Here's the gist of what we do. We okay. just want to teach this entire nation how to pray according to the word of God. So if you ever pray a prayer that don't get, doesn't get answered, we're the guys that's going to help you know what you need to do the right way according to the word mm -hmm. that you should get every, uh, every prayer answered. So that's what we're working with right now. That's so important, though. Yeah. You know, prayer is a foundation and a building block, and the enemy doesn't want people to know how to pray. So maybe you could touch on that, because that's something he really does not want people to understand. Well, yeah, absolutely. And, and the, you know, there's rules. So that's what I was actually I spoke today at, uh, here at the Reawaken. I spoke at what was it, 1130. And one of the things I kind of got into, I love to kill sacred religious cows. And one of them is, <laughs> God is so sovereign, brother. Aunt Bessie needed to die and go on home. We'll find someone else to play the piano in her place. God took the dear sweet soul home. He's sovereign. He knew what he was. No cancer killed Aunt Bessie. We should pray and take authority and kill cancer. Yeah. We should what? We should pray. We should pray. We should pray. We're going to teach you how to pray. So God sets up the Bible to where his sovereignty is based upon the word. Is he sovereign? Absolutely according to his word, and that's his rule book. Mm -hmm. So the rule book, which is his very own word, he's bound to that. A man shouldn't be shouldn't break their word. You can't trust a man who's not a man of his word. How could we trust a God who's not a God of his word? So when he says yes. something in the word, we are able to believe that he can do what he says in his word, not beyond it. So like some people go to hell, but he said in Timothy, we should pray for the leaders because he desires for no one to go to hell. So basically, and that was in like Timothy four, so they, or Timothy one or two. So basically what he's saying is, um, you follow the word of God of what it says, and it'll, you'll find out what God can do for you. So when you begin to pray, the word of God shows you what he can do for you. And so that's the sovereignty of God. He is so sovereign. According to his word, he can't break the word. He can't break That's the right. rule book. So if he gave a man to grace and Marty, if he gave us the authority in the earth, which we believe he did, it's called the authority of the believer. Can he have it? 
if he gave it to us, can he have it? No, he can't. So we're expecting him, so many people expecting God to come down and fix your problem. What if he's already fixed the problem when he gave you the authority and he's wanting you to operate and exercise in that authority in the earth, right. which then unleashes him to be able to move on your behalf? It's not that we're leaving him out of the picture. It's the power of God going to show up and solve the problem, but we're going to operate the authority in the earth that opens the door for his sovereignty to begin to move for us. Big part of it's faith. I just said a lot. I mean, you did. Really, that was amazing, though. And, and big part of it's faith. Like, you're not Absolutely. losing. You're building your faith through all that. Yeah. He wants us to trust in him when we're not actually seeing anything, but still trusting that he has already done it. Yeah. Like, wow, that's yeah. beautiful. And one of the things that we've really stepped on lately, and we're mm -hmm. really just going to make the entire ministry about, is you should never have prayer without presence. So many times we'll pray, and he's not there and we'll just have a dry prayer. And, and I, there's times I'll have dry prayers because I'm still in line with the word. But I want to be enjoying the presence of God when I'm praying. So let's take the word prayer and throw it away for a few minutes. What if we replace it with the word fellowship? What if we replaced it with intimate fellowship? So I should be doing intimate fellowship, intimate constant contact mm -hmm. instead of the the word that may become a little religious to us, prayer. Now, I'm allowed my prayer, so I'm not throwing the word away. I just want you to understand that your prayer is literally just a back and forth dialogue. You know, Charlie Kirk, I love Charlie Kirk, right? Turning point. Charlie Kirk says the left, the bad guys, wants us to no longer have dialogue with them because everything they're saying is so twisted, no common sense. It's so off. Mm -hmm. There's no logic. Then we sit down the right and we begin to talk conservative Christian values. It destroys everything they're saying. So they're trying to stop the dialogue. That's right. Well, what if you find a man or a woman in the earth today who's not having dialogue? What if it's always one-sided conversations? Dialogue is two-sided. So we want to teach, teach you how to have that two-sided dialogue. That you speak, he speaks. You listen, he listens. And it becomes you writing pages do you know anybody who writes pages and amanda yeah yeah i think she's written a few pages just writing pages of what he's saying to you yeah, that's true it's ministering before the lord it really is that's it's such a crucial part of it to minister before the lord and to go in kind of doing that first and then letting him sort of speak what he needs to speak to you and yeah. give you the instruction he needs to give absolutely mm -hmm. Yeah. So just outside, we prayed for close to 200 people, and I probably prayed for 50 myself. It seemed like a lot of people. And I got to a place where I physically was getting tired. Mm -hmm. You know, after so many people, you've been there, right? Oh, yes. So I'm there right now. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> no, we just finished 30 minutes ago. And so I got to the place of where I just stopped laying hands on them, and I just said, give me a minute. And I went and found Jesus because I've accessed him so many times in prayer i know right where he's at so i just step in the spirit because i've developed this in prayer i stepped in i find him and i said what do you want me to pray over her and every time i would say it he would show me in a little mini vision to push the rod out of their body a woman had rods in her backs last night in her back last night at the at the bit he showed me to push the rods out of her body so i was just obeying what i was seeing mm -hmm. but i had developed that in prayer that's not just for ministry gifts. It's for the body of Christ to do that. It, it is. I mean, we're called to do that. We are. Lay hands on the sick. Raise the dead, right? Yeah. This is what the commission that was given to us. So, yes. Absolutely. And I love how you put it into um, a lot of people don't know that they have authority that they can claim and then they can proclaim um, over a situation. That's so right. I think a lot of people need what you guys are doing. You do it in a fun way. You do it in a way that's engaging. And I love your delivery style. And, and you guys mm -hmm. are walking the walk and you're teaching they a lot are. of people some wonderful things. And I thank you for what you're doing. And, you. and if you want to just say the, how they can reach yeah. you again. So basically, real quickly, you go to loudmouthprayer.org. And when you go to there, you click on the little button at the top that says start praying today. You scroll down. And at the very bottom down, you fill out the information. We're going to send you three things. The first thing is the prophetic emails. Lord speaking to me about mostly the church, a little bit about the nation. I'm more of a church guy right now. And he's speaking to me. I turn that into the written word mixed with the prophetic word and I send you a prayer of how to pray over what he showed me. Second thing I'm developing these how to get every 
of every prayer answered series, five to seven minute curriculum videos. And we'll be sending those to you when you fill out that information. And you'll be receiving all of these, how to pray for the president, the real president, Amanda. Uh, the real, yes, the real president. The real president. Oh, absolutely the real president. <laughs> we all know one. who that is. And how to pray for the nation, how to pray for your spouse, how to pray for the prodigal son. Oh, my spouse needs on. prayer. Oh, Chris. Oh, I got, <laughs> got the prettiest hair, but the man needs prayer. Oh, that rhyme. It that was wasn't good. prophetic. It was pathetic. So, okay. we love to have fun. Jesus is a laughing, good time guy. Okay, good time. Is that bad to say? He really loves that. He's full of joy, and we want to help you have an intimacy and a fellowship through prayer with him. You'll find the people that are performing miracles through God and healings, they are doing it from intimacy with Jesus. It is true. Hands down, mm -hmm. that's where it's found. The Bible said that Jesus did the works he did by the spirit of holiness. You hang out with him, the spirit of holiness that's comes right. on you, and you heal the sick, cast out the devil, speak in tongues, cleanse the leper. That's right. Yada, yada, yada. Uh, Amen. Well, God bless you. Thank, Thank you for what you're yeah, doing. God bless and you guys. Thanks for having me. We will be back again soon. Thank you. Thank you so much for joining us here at Live My Prayer. If you would like to keep watching our videos, we would love for you to just keep coming and joining everything we're doing. And if you would like to partner with us and help us, we would love for you to do that as well. You could text the word GIVE to 918-400-2301, or you could go to loudmouthprayer.org, click Donate at the top, and be a part financially of what we're doing. Everything that you could do for us, we would greatly appreciate, and we would completely use it to teach this entire nation how to pray.